Hi YouTube, M6CB back again with another video. Uh, today I wanted to do uh, a quick uh, tutorial on how to update your firmware on your Retavis RT90. I've had a few questions about this and it's, it's really straightforward so I just thought while I had it on the bench there I could just quickly show you how to do it. Um, so basically we need to go to the Retavis resources website, I'll put the link in the description, and we need to find the RT90 firmware which is here. We click OK on save we go up here, um, I've obviously tried this before, this is like Lou Peter, one I tried earlier. So we just click that there um, and then it opens this zip file up. So we can extract to the desktop, um, new folder, click OK um, and that's that done. So if we now go to my desktop, which should be, there we go, this is the one we want. So if we open this. Uh, double click that and then we go on to run as administrator now go through the setup I would advise leaving this on uh, on your C drive uh, but you can choose your path there and um, just click next and then finish and then that's it then that's that side of it all done and then you are left with this uh, this is the upgrade tool that we need to upgrade the firmware. So before we do anything, we need to put the um, USB cable into the radio. Um, this cable you can get on eBay really cheaply, or if you're ordering your radio from Retavis, uh, make sure you put the cable in the basket. Um, they're only a couple of uh, extra dollars, and it's well worth it. Um, so you just put that cable into there. There we go, so the cable is now in the radio. So now what we need to do is put the radio into what they call DFU mode. So we um, the, the way to do it um, is turn the radio off first. Okay, I think the error was there because it's in the into the computer. And then turn your power supply off and hold down uh, P1. Let me see if I can do this. It's quite tricky how you've got to do this. You've got to push those two buttons down. Um, let's see if I can do it. And then turn your power supply on. Yeah, here you go. So, yeah, it's the orange button and P1, and then turn your power supply on. Um, you can't just turn this button on. You've got to press the P1 and the orange button, and now it's flashing. This is now in DFU mode. So now you go on to your upgrade tool that we just did then, um, and then run that as administrator then this 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 pops up so we now to need to open the file so where we went before um, ba -ba -ba -ba, which is the RT90 upgrade firmware remember we pressed before we uh, where we installed the program it's the same folder uh, but we have some options here now this is the GPS model as you can see on the side of the radio here so for the GPS model we have two options we have the CSV option and the record option now the CSV option is a hundred thousand contacts on on the radio so when stations key up uh, you can see their uh, call sign and location and that kind of thing so that's one option or the other option is it uses that um, memory space for recording QSOs. So you can choose which one you want, either the CSV contacts or the recording the QSOs. I always use the CSV option, that's my personal preference. Um, so then you would just click open and then it puts that file in there. And then you would just click download file of upgrade and let it do its thing. Now this might take a few minutes, so I'll pause the video and come back when it's finished. And there we go, download upgrade file successful and then you just click OK. The radio is still in DFU mode so just turn your power supply off and then that will end that. And then obviously when the, when the light goes out, there we go, we can unplug the cable from the back. So there you go, took the cable out, put your power supply back on and then hold the power on button and there we go. So now you can check your um, uh, version by going to uh, utilities 
radio info version and there you go that's the latest version that we've just done so hopefully that's uh, that helps you out um as i say i've had a few questions on how to upgrade the firmware on the retivis rt90 a lot of the retivis dmr radios are very similar um but obviously if, if there's any other videos that i've done that i still have that i can do the uh, the show you how it's done then just let me know uh, but yeah here's uh, my website I've done a full review on this radio if you find it interesting or you're thinking about buying one. I'll leave the link in the description where you can check this out. I've also done a, a full YouTube video review on this radio, uh, so check that out as well. So I've been M6EB. Uh, you've been very kind to watch. Thank you very much for, for watching this, and uh, please leave a comment down below. And until the next time, 73.